Hello, world! Dave here. You may know me as Modan Joe. Welcome back to Let's Play Cthulhu Saves the World! And today we're in the Hero Shrine to sh show that Cthulhu can be a hero. So, let's go explore. We'll find something heroic to do. We got 25 random battles, so let's pump it! First up on the list, some gargoyles and sore hearts. My rule, always take out the sore hearts. They know heal all. It is very annoying to have to deal with constant healing from them non-stop over and over. Or you can turn them insane, which will make them throw fireballs at you. Either way, bad proposition. Take out the sore hearts first in any group you encounter in this dungeon. Always! The gargoyles, they're nothing fancy. They just, they're just weak to water, so flood them, whatever. It's nothing to worry about. Alright, Umi levels up, and she can learn either Add Cure to make her heal spell also cure status ailments, or Full Heal. Eh, easy choice. Full Heal, easy. I don't like the combo reset, but her heal starts to lack in the late game, especially compared to another character we may get. Oh, spoilers, there are more characters for us to get. Alright. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, let's continue onward, down and around, and... Uh, and encounter some new enemies, orcs and wizards. Wizards are your priority number one. They have some really nasty spells that hit all your party members, so take them out as soon as possible. The orcs, they're just bags me. Don't worry about them. They, they can, they have a lot of HP and they can hit kind of hard, but overall, they're not a threat. So you can really can one shot them with flame strike, even without them being insane, as you just saw there. Uh, I need a drink. Alright, and that was easy enough, and Cthulhu gains a level as well, so we gotta learn Curse or Nightfall. Nightfall is the easy choice. Curse's resistance debuff isn't that bad, but, you know, between making one enemy insane and making all enemies insane, Cthulhu's kinda covered in the one enemy department, so let's go with all. And we got some more new enemies, Ghost Knights. Uh, nothing too fancy, they do kinda hit hard, but uh, overall, they're nothing... <coughs> They're nothing to worry about. They're well, actually, they're not so much as hard as hit hard as they are fast. So we do have to kind of deal with them. But they're you, you should, Umi should be able to outspeed them once they're all insane. As I was mentioning, the world map enemies in the world map kind of change depending on how far are into the story you are. That's actually kind of also true with dungeons. I should also mention. Oh yeah, and up here we get some potions that. Act the farther, the, it isn't so much the farther you get into the dungeon, but rather how many random battles you have left. And we got some more new enemies, Willow Wisps. They're nothing to worry about. They have some, they have some annoying debuffs, so you might want to take them out first. But they're pretty weak. You could probably just flood them, hit them with one flood, and well, later on we can, we'll be able to hit one shot with these flood, so we don't have much of a threat. But, but as I was saying, it. It depends on your random... The harder enemy groups actually occur... Are more likely to appear the lower your random encounter number is. That's actually a little thing that the developers actually kind of... Mention in the commentary... In their commentary, which is actually a nice touch, honestly. I like that. Um, it's... Uh, it makes things a lot more interesting. Alright, so we're back to start. The right was a dead end, so... Let's uh, take the up path. So just to see if there's anything interesting around here. Oh, there is! 250 gold! Probably should have taken that path first. Just so that way I could have gotten that treasure out of the way. Anyway, this floor is pretty much clear as far as I can recall, so... Let's just make our way back up... Up, I said. No, I think you're going the wrong way. So, no, 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 no. I know exactly where I'm going. I knew exactly where I was going when I was doing this. Or not. But yeah, let's just make our way back up to the next floor and see what new thing it comes as for. I think we're doing pretty good on enemy encounters here. Well, we do get some more new enemies. Necroguards. These guys hit hard. They're not as uh, beefy, though, as the orcs, so we can take... So they're pretty easy to take out. Just watch out for that wild swing. I believe they are more likely to do that when they're insane. So you might want to consider not uh, flinging around Nightfall or insane strikes or whatever. Try and blind them if you can, but... Oh, wow. Ouch, Umi. Uh, we'll be able to recover, though, I'm sure of it. Just, uh, just be, uh, just keep on your guard and make sure to... And just take them all out as fast as you can, especially the necro guards. Whew. 
Whoa, that was a close one. But uh, and I think we got I think we got this one now. So it's just a few physical attacks and they're all gone. Ah, and some stat ups for Cthulhu. Eh, nothing fancy. Go with this. Trying to finish Ubi. Same here, but I'm giving Ubi some more HP after after how seeing how easily she falls down. Uh, extra MP is also gravy, so. Once again, Cthulhu using his ability to break through the fourth wall to gain an advantage. Switch puzzles. The developer actually kind of joked that switch puzzles were kind of C Cthulhu saves the world's biggest innovation. <laughs> yeah, you could call that an innovation. But, uh, well, he knows it's a joke, at least. Anyway, this chest having contains a hero badge, which actually is just a random... which actually just permanently increases everyone's stats. Uh, Developers actually kind of found that they didn't like people hoarding stat up items, so they force you to use one to get them. All right, so uh, we got some new enemies here. The the flying statues are something you gotta watch out for. They they can war, which will buff all and which will increase the attack power of all enemies. So you gotta watch out for that. Uh, gargoyles. Well, we dealt with gargoyles already, so don't don't worry about them. <sighs> I gotta tell you, folks. I do enjoy this game, but there isn't that. Uh, we will just uh, keep our keep our way exploring. There's a few few other hidden items around here somewhere, but um, I don't think there are any on this floor. We can't go down there. Walls blocking our path. That wall never made sense to me, honestly. I'll just come out and say that I did not get the point of that wall. I mean, did you not want to make have there be redundant paths to? Uh, Stairwell? I don't know. Anyway, we can't go up there. That's the area that's blocked off by the door. So, so let's continue onward and make our way down to that stairwell. Oh, here's the Beltman that they all warned us about back in town. Uh, what makes Beltman dangerous is Pose. It boosts his attack power by 50%. Pretty deadly. However, he's weak to fire, and you can just use sirens called stun him, make him insane. Two shot him with flame strikes, boom, boom, boom. He's not a threat. Although, don't leave him alive for long. Though. Like I said, he has a lot of HP, and he can really hammer on you, especially after a pose. But um, overall, once you get once you get that all sorted out, and uh, hopefully deal with the sore hearts that he always spawns with, which is, I swear, this has to be the most annoying group that you can encounter in this dungeon. Sore heart, wizard, belt man, dear God. It's like they're putting all the pain from the asses into one group at once. Ah, well, we took care of him. Not much that I gotta say. Oh, man. Today is not a good day for me, if you can't tell by the raspiness of my voice. Ugh. But, uh, well, we're gonna have to find our way to that switch through the through an upper stairwell, and, well, what do you know? Here it is. Switch puzzle solved. Do you think your ingenious switch puzzles can stop us, Cyborg Caves? I'd like to see you try. Maybe you think of something a little more clever for the next game, for the Penny Arcade Adventures game that you're gonna be working on. Oh, yeah, and up here, we got a steel sword, which laughs in my face for buying one in town. So, let that be a lesson to you, folks. Buy the armor first. Because you're probably going to be finding all the weapons you can need later on. You need later on. So, let's get on our way back upstairs and around to that uh, walled off area that we couldn't get to. There's more treasure on that floor, but none that we could get through that, through that particular area that we found. So, let's just continue on up. And the rightmost path will take us right to the boss and, uh, and an MP restore point. So, yeah, why not? Let's use that. I mean, it can never hurt to keep your MP at full and save up while we're at it, because, you know, I mean, it's not necessary you know, that you save it any time. And, oh yeah, after that last random battle that I edited out, Cthulhu learned tentacles. There's two different versions of that, one which hit, hits three times and hit targets random enemies, and one that hits a whole group. Go with the group one. Cthulhu really lacks an area of effect attacks until, unless you're building him towards magic. And I'm building him towards physical attack, so he'll be lacking for a long time. <coughs> and in fact, he won't probably won't get a good one until later. Anyway, after a whole bunch of skipped stuff, we are at the boss with two random battles to spare. Whew! 
Not bad. That's not going to be common, please and germs. Don't don't count on me making it there that quickly with that little effort. So let's continue our way back on. Nope. And hmm, what's going on here? Giant sword. Nice. Master sword? Not quite. Although I imagine it would, that would look like make the Buster sword look pathetic. Hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, keep thinking that, Cthulhu. Although it is big enough for you to carry. I mean, you are big enough for it to carry it. Huh. Oh, the thing is alive. There's never been a sentient sword that I liked. Alright, boss time again. Sharp! The sword. You're not very good at naming things, are you guys? Ah, eh, well, they're actually quite aware of that. Anyway, this guy is nothing to be scared about. He hits hard, he hits kind of fast, but outside of that, he doesn't have any nasty tricks. He has he has one attack that hits hits your whole party, but other than that, he's a piece of cake. Just take him, just bat, wail on him with all you got, keep your HP up. Especially the further you get, you really want to keep your HP up, because, cause, well, you know, scaling damage, all that, the damage scales as we get oh, further and further into the fight, so you definitely want to take him out fast. Using, once you get that death blow, once you get your combo up to 10, you definitely, uh, 10 or 11 or so, you definitely want to go in with a death blow. But, overall, he's not much of a threat outside of that. Do build up your combo as fast as you can and take him out quickly, because his di he can really dish out the pain in later turns. I mean, you do not want to see what that multi-strike looks like, I and mean, once you get to turn 10, ugh, it's nasty, I'll say that, it's nasty. I don't remember how long it took me, my how many turns it took me for my first try, but it's nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Alright, I think we got him on the ropes, so it shouldn't be that hard. Just a, Yeah, that Tempest really gets in there. But, easy peasy. We took him down, and Cthulhu gets level 12. So, what's on the reward agenda? Just stats. We don't need to worry too much about stats. But Umi gets to learn a spell, either slow, a, a slow spell or a slow strike attack. Her strikes are actually pretty good. They're actually a decent physical attacks, even if she isn't really built for physical attacks. They're not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Slow isn't that good of a status ailment anyway, so slow strike's not bad. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Sharp. A new weapon for Cthulhu. Or... A new party member! That works just as well! Alright, so I guess that's gonna be the end of the episode besides that. Go... Yeah, sure, you guys can go and party. I'm just gonna kick back, relax, and... Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dave. Remember that uh, first impressions are always important. Take care, everybody. And yeah, that flavor text really rings true. His HP is the max HP isn't that great anymore. <laughs> I do love the humor in this game. <laughs>